G'day, welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of Scenario 25A, Fields of Fire uh, from the Paratroopers pack for GMT's Combat Commander and we're about to go on with the German's turn Is, That doesn't seem to be focused Focus, <gasps> focus Ah, oh, that's better Okay, so the Germans Finished with two fires and have picked up a command confusion, an artillery denied, a fire and a recover. So they are going to do what? Recover. I don't think they have much choice in the matter realistically. So um, let's start up here. So we've got this little fella here for eight minus one is seven, eight, nine. And we get an eight and he's back. Oh, damn. Ten, not nine, dickhead. Forgot to remove it again. Okay, so he's back. <laughs> okay, now green fella is here for four, five, six. And we get a four. So he's back as well. Pretty damn fine for them. It'd be nice if they could move somewhere, but yeah, and this bloke's here for eight. And he's happy as well. Standing out in the open, waiting to be shot. So the only thing we can really do, because we can't move anywhere, is fire. Um, and try and knock some of these blokes down. Um, and again, the only place to really fire is here. Um, and these can all fire into here. So we'll fire for our second order. Um, so uh, we have six, seven, one, huh? one, two, three, four, eight. Mm, one, two, three, four, he can't reach. So six, seven, eight into there. Minus three is five. Uh, with nothing to add to it. Uh, plus five is ten. Again, pretty shitful. Um, so this guy's up here for six, seven, eleven. And eight, he's good. And Lieutenant Thomas is up there for thirteen. And he's fine as well. And they can't do jack else. This guy could fire up there, but again... He'd be firing for five, but I just don't think it's worth it. So two new cards for the Germans. Over to the Americans who have two fires, a move, a move, and a fire. So I suppose let's try and make some of these buggers out. I really want a recover. Okay, so Visha fire again. And again and again, and we're going to fire at these guys again with these guys, and this guy again with these guys. So we have six, seven, eight, minus three is five into here. Uh, with nothing to help, five and six, <laughs> eleven, and an American sniper, uh, at I four, which does nothing, and a four does nothing for the broken light machine gun. It's fixed on a five six, eliminated on a seven eight. So we have eleven into here, and he's there for eleven. And nine, and he's fine. And then these guys firing down into here. Um, 
And so we have again our 6, 7, down to there. So, sorry, 7, 8, minus 3 is 5 down into here again. 5 and 6, 11. Yay! So this guy's here for 6, 7, 8. And 8 is 16. And the German sniper at E7, which is here, and breaks their light machine gun. It's gone. Okay. Um, so he's fine. This guy's here for 8, 9, 10. And he's good. And the sergeant's there for 9. And 9 is good as well. Um, so that's our fire, and that's all we can do. And we get one new card for the Americans, and the Germans have artillery, de artillery denied, command confusion, two fires, advance, and another fire. Right. So again, I think what I've got to do is advance these guys up into here and this guy to here and um, the reason for that is it's just getting him further away from these guys uh, my trouble now is he doesn't have a shot but he does now mm, maybe that wasn't a good idea no we'll leave it we'll leave it okay so they've advanced uh, but again, they can't fire at anything, really. There's only this guy. So that's it. And they get one new card. Okay, the Americans, two moves, two fires, and a recover. So we're going to recover. So again, a little friend here is seven, and four is 11. And we get a seven, which is great. And we have an event, which is cower. Suppress all American squads not currently within a friendly lead. Well, we don't have any squads anyway, so we forget about that. And everybody's in a command radius. So this bloke is back. Ready to kick bottom. Right, so we will fire. As our second order, and we're going to fire at this little fella down here. Um... So we are firing for 9 and 2 is 11. Down into here, no hindrance. Uh, nothing to add to it. 11 and 7 is 18 and an event, which is Battle Harden. One American unit becomes a veteran. Okay, well, I think realistically, I'm probably going to make it this fella here just so that he's got more firepower, okay? Um, so we have down into here 18. This guy is here currently for eight, and one is nine, um, but has nothing to help. Okay, so nine and 10, 19. Well done, that man. And a sniper at B1. Up there does nothing. Okay, and that's all that the Americans can do. Yeah. And they get two new cards. And we're over to the Germans who had three fires, artillery denied, command confusion, and an advance again. Right. So do I take the chance of advancing these guys to here now? Uh, which brings this guy up to here. So then this guy can't fire. And that only leaves this guy that can fire into here and here because he has... Uh, no, he can't fire into there. And I think...
Do I want to do that at the moment or do I simply want to get rid of those other two cards that are no good? I think I've got to get rid of the cards. I know I'm leaving this bloke out in the open, but at least these ones are still good. So I'm going to get rid of the Command Confusion, the Artillery Denied, and I'm thinking of getting rid of one of the Fires as well. And I'll get three new cards for the Americans, uh, for the Germans, I should say. So the Americans have got two moves, a Fire, a Fire, and a Recover. Right, so they don't need to worry about recovering at the moment. Uh, the two moves have got a Light Wounds and a Crossfire on them. So again, I could fire out here, and that would still leave me at least one fire, um, and a Crossfire if they start to move. Or I get rid of the two moves and get two other cards. No, I'm going to fire. Okay, and we're going to fire down here again. So we're firing for uh, 11 again into there. Plus four. 15, not real flash. That we might get him. And this guy's here for eight, and one is nine. Uh, doesn't have anything to help. Nine and ten, 19 again, and a sniper at C1, which is good because that, oh, sorry, C1, not C2. C2 would have taken out this little fella, but it didn't. Okay, so that's our first order, firing into there. So again, we could try and fire down into here, which would give us seven, eight, nine into here with nothing. But I don't think I want to. I want to make sure I've got a fire for movement. Okay, so one card for the Americans now. The Germans have two advances, two fires, a recover, and an artillery request. Okie dokie. So I think we're going to do what we were talking about. We are going to advance these guys up to here. And this guy up to here. Um... And then I'm going to save the other advance to hopefully get into here. Or in fact, I could probably jump over here. So, but I need to keep that at the moment. I've got the recover as well, which leaves two fires and that's it. So, no, um, we can't fire with anything effectively other than again, like this, like I said, this guy. Um, so one card for the Germans. Back to the, the Americans, two moves, recover, fire, and a command confusion. So this time, I don't think I've really got any choice. I'm going to get rid of the two moves and the command confusion. I'd love to fire at these guys, but I don't know if I'm going to get anything back. So this way I get three new cards rather than one. And we're back to the Germans who have picked up another fire. So they are going to do their advance. Now, if they advance to here, this guy has no shot. And these guys have... Just have a shot. These guys don't. So that's worthwhile. And I could advance this guy up into here again. But I can't put any smoke down or anything else. So in a way, I think I'm better off leaving him behind um, again. 
they can always follow up later if need be. Okay, and that is it. And they get one new card. And we're over to the German, uh, the Americans who have picked up an artillery request, a move, and a route with their recover and fire. And again, I can't afford to use that fire because I'm not getting anything. So I'm going to get rid of these three again and get three new cards for the Americans. And we're over to the Germans who have picked up a command confusion. So they cannot move anywhere. Um, so they could fire down at this guy here. But again, I'm probably better off just getting rid of these cards and getting two new ones. So we're back to the Americans. Recover, fire, route, fire, fire, right. So let's do some firing, see if we can do anything. So we can only fire from here to there. There will be no hindrance. It's a range of one, two, three, four, five. So we can shoot with six, seven, eight across to here. Hey uh, And we have nothing to add to that. So we have eight and ten, eighteen. That's a bit bloody better. Righto. So these little fellas here are here for six, seven, eight. Um, they have nothing to help. Eight and seven is 15, not enough. And the event is interdiction. Suppress one unit in a hex with less than one cover. Right. So all the Americans are in cover. All of these guys. So I've got to actually suppress one of these guys. So this guy has just been hit. And then I'm going to suppress him as much as that is really painful let's just leave that there put that there painful okay this guy is here for eight nine ten and five and is hit as well and the sergeant the fell devil is there for eight and one is nine and six is 15 and it is hit as well Okay, what else can Merikans do? And I suppose we could try and route them now. I can't fire at them again, so our second order will be to route. We'll start with this guy. He's there for 10. We get a 7, no good. But the event is Breeze. We have no smoke and we have no blazes. Uh, then this guy's here for 9, and he's fine. And then this little fella is here for four, three, four. Four, and we get a seven. So that's a three. And the event is white phosphorus. Uh, you may place smoke adjacent to an unbroken American squad. We don't have any squads. So this guy's got to come back three. So he's going to go one, two, three to here. Wow. Okay, so that worked. Pity we can't shoot at him again. And that is that. I suppose if I had have kicked them all in to start with, it would have been okay, but um, yeah. So two new cards for the Americans. And we're back to the Germans. Artillery request, command, confusion, recover. And I've got to do it. So it's got to be a recover. Remove this. Uh, let's start with this fella here. He's there for, for nine. I suppose I shouldn't have given him the plus one for the other shit because it's only when that. So, yeah, I screwed that. My apologies. Either way. So this bloke probably could have come back one more, but I'm not going to change it now. These guys were fine. Um... In fact, I should bring him back one more, shouldn't I? It's only fair. 
So this guy's here for nine. And we get a 10. Jesus. This guy's here for eight. And we get an eight and he's suppressed. The, the Germans are starting to fall apart. And this poor guy's here for a four. And he gets a five. So nothing happens there. Um, and again, we've got really nothing that we can fire with or anything else. So bastards, one card for them. And we're back to the Americans. Recover, two fires, two recovers and three fires. So let's fire again. Um, we're going to activate this guy who activates everybody here. So these guys are going to fire over here. So again, we have six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine into here. One, two, three, four. Yep. Uh, with nothing to add? No. So we have nine and eight, 17. Righto, so this guy's here for seven and one is eight. Um, with nothing to help. Eight and 11, he's good. And this guy's here for 10 and two and the sergeant is gone. That's their second casualty, and that's two victory points for the Americans, taking them to 12. And then these guys are going to fire down here, so we have three hindrance. Uh, it's a range of four, one, two, three, four, five. It'll just be the machine gun. So six and one is seven. Minus three is four into here. is seven well we could do it he's here for four and he gets an eight he's good and the sniper at e5 which is here and does nothing so what else can we do i suppose we can fire again can't we can we no, because he doesn't have line of sight to him and he doesn't have line of sight to him, only into here. So no, we can't fire again. So that's it for the Americans. And they get one card and we're back to the Germans again who have picked up another <gasps> recover. So they're going to recover. So again, this guy is here now for seven, no extras. He gets a five and he's back. The trouble is he can't move any bloody where. Oh, sorry, he's there for eight because I forgot to remove the bloody suppression again because I'm a dork bum. And this poor little guy is there for four and gets a 10. So what do we do now? Um, we can't... I suppose we can fire. One, two, three, four. I think we need to fire. So this little guy will fire. Uh, so he's only firing for five into there. No hindrance. Uh, I can't do sustained fire or anything else. No. Plus 11, 15. Not too bad. So we've got this little gentleman here who is in here for six and one is seven and three is nine. And nothing to help. So we have nine and six is 15. So he is suppressed. And nine and three is 12. And he's fine. Um, so again, this guy could fire into here or he could fire into here. He could fire into here for five. He could fire into here for two. Uh, I just don't think it's worth it. So he's going to get two new cards. That's the end of the German turn. And we're over to the Americans who are going to recover first up. So we remove this horrible little thing. And then we are going to 
fire. Um, so again, these guys will fire here. These guys will fire here. So we'll do this first. So again, we have uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. So we have seven, eight, nine to here. Plus eight is 17. And this guy is here for eight and one is nine with nothing to help. Uh, 9 and 10, 19. Well done, that man. And then we fire down here again for 6, 7, minus 3. I don't think he can reach, can he? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No. So 7 minus 3 is 4 into here. Plus 5 is 9. And he's there for 4. And nine and is good again. Um, and that's all that the Americans can do. They get two new cards, and we're over to the Germans who have two fires, two artillery requests, a command confusion, and a route. So I'm just going to get rid of the confusions, routes, and artillery. They'll get four new cards. And we're over to the Americans with a fire, recover, move, and they pick up another move and a fire. Righto, so we will What I'm thinking of doing is bringing this bloke back. That would be three to there. He can do it. And then bring him around here so this bloke can't diddly bop up there by himself. Well, not that easily anyway. Um, so I think we'll try and fire on him first. So again, we're going to do the fire. Again, these ones here. This one here. So again, we have nine into here. Plus six is 15. And this guy's here for nine. Does he have anything to help? He does have a concealment. Um, so it's probably worthwhile. So we are going to use a concealment which takes it down to 14 against him. And he's there for nine. And six is 15. <whistles> Did the right thing. Okay, and we have a German sniper hitting at C3, which this time does take out our 50 cal. So this is the time to move those buggers. Okay, um, so he's fine, but then we're firing down here again for four, plus four is eight, and this guy's here for four, and five is nine. He's a plucky little bugger, isn't he? Okay, so I was looking at moving this guy up and around here, um, but if I do... I'm rooted at the moment, so I am going to recover instead. So again, this guy is here for seven and eight, nine, and six is 15. Uh, six? Yeah, 15, we get a four, so he's back. Right. which puts the kibosh on these guys running up here at the moment. Okay, that's it for the Americans. They can only do two orders. They get two new cards, and then we're on to the Germans, who have 
two fires, a move, a route, and an artillery. So we are going to move. We're going to move this young fella here. Um, and before he goes anywhere, he's going to pop smoke and try and get a little bit of hindrance into here. And what did he get? Oh, a big one. Jeez. Okay. So he goes to there. He's moved into there for one and a half. Now, this guy can't see him. And this guy can't see him. And this guy can't see him. So he's gone one and a half to there. That's two and a half. Three and a half. Four and a half into there. Now, if he goes this way, it would be two and a half, three and a half, four and a half anyway, and he still can't get into there. So this way, he is actually better because nobody can shoot at him. So that's that, and that is about all they can do. Um, and they'll get three new cards. And their deck is nearly finished. Right, so the Americans have a fire, two moves, a fire, and an artillery request. So they are going to move, and they can't go into here. So this little fella here can only move four. He goes one, two, three. That's all he can do. If they can move into there, he can run away. So he's moved to there. Um... And I suppose we may as well fire down on this bloke again. It's not going to achieve a great deal, but it's better than nothing. So we fire for our second, and again, we're firing for six and one is seven, minus three is four, plus 11 is 15. Now let's see if you can get out of that, you little monkey. And he's there for four. And there's not anything they can do to help with that at all. Four and three, and he's finally gone. Okay, so they, we don't get any VPs for that. We just get rid of him, and we've gotten rid of their second light machine gun. They only have one left. Um, and that's it for the Americans who get two new cards. And then we have Herman the German who has a route, a route, a move, and two fires with an artillery request. So he is going to move. And he's going to go one, two into there, which is objective five, which becomes German. The Allies lose three. The Germans gain three, and it's now down to six American victory points. So that's two into there. Now, he could just keep on going. He could do another. But I think he's better off holding this at the moment, so he's going to stop there. So that comes down to what else do we want to do? And all we've really got is routes and fires, so nothing. And we get one card for the Germans. But the Germans can start getting off the board now because they hold three objectives. Okay, the uh, Americans have a fire, artillery request, a move, artillery request, and a route. So the route's no good. The artillery requests are no good. Uh, I could move this guy up. But do I have anything to help him? Nothing. Um, if I go... How far can he move? Four. So I could go two, four, and try to cut this bloke off from running and then come back down this way. Um and maybe try assaulting back into here. Um, but that's going to be a four against a six straight up. Shh, 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 shh. 
And I don't think that German's going anywhere for the time being, so I'm going to get rid of those three. And get three new cards for the Americans. We'll do the Germans again. Two fires, two routes, artillery request and a command confusion. So they're going to get rid of their routes, their artillery and the command confusion. And get four new cards. They've only got three there. So we have to reshuffle their decks. So that is time. We go to time six of seven. Again, no reinforcements. No smoke other than this one to remove. Um... We're one off sudden death. So it comes down to uh, dig ins, really, and that's about it. So let's see if anybody has any dig ins they want to use. The Germans do not. And the Americans could use one there, I suppose, but uh, they don't have one anyway, so it doesn't matter. So the Germans get one more card. That's their turn finished. We'll do the American turn. They have a move, a fire, an advance, a move, and an artillery request. So I think we have to advance. And we'll advance this little man into here like that. Um, and that's all they can do. And they get one card back and we're over to the Germans and we're going to stop there and see what happens in the next turn. So um, the Americans are hoping for an advance into here, um, but they're going to be pushing poo uphill anyway, trying to... Uh, take that German out. Like I said, he's got six. This guy's only got four at the moment. And I am aware that both sides have at least one ambush each at the moment. So this bloke still has the advantage. He would go down to three. He would go down to two. So it brings it actually closer. But uh, yeah. Um, the only other thing I could try and do is get our little hero with a couple of moves to come up and around and try and join up with him at some stage um, and then they can both sort of assault into there and that'll give a little bit more and even it up but uh, we're down to six VPs for the Americans uh, we know we're near surrender values for anybody and we have two secret objectives for the Germans, which could quite easily, withholding three objectives now, give them a chance to just blow the Americans away with uh, victory points. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. So, again, thanks for coming along for the ride, and uh, I will catch you next time. Bye for now. G'day all, welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthrough of Combat Commander, Scenario 25A, Fields of Fire, from the Paratroopers pack from GMT. And we're about to go on with the Germans part of the turn. Um, we're at time six of sudden death seven. The Americans have six victory points. The Germans have taken three of the objectives and now can run off the board if they wish but uh, we'll just have to see what happens they also have uh, two secret objectives which could really blow the Americans away so let's see what they've got they've got two fires a recover a fire command confusion and a move right um, So I could try a move to bring some more paratroops up. Um, may not be all that great. What I am thinking is what? I think I might try a fire into here. Do I want to do that is the question. What could I fire for? Five, which would then become a, a, effectively a three attack. 
due to the cover. Because um, if we can take this guy out, then we can also try and come around and maybe assault into here, which would be good as well. But I only have the one move. Okay, so let's try a fire to start with. And I'm going to use one with an ambush um, because I want to keep the smoke grenades for any move. So we're firing for five into here. Um, I do have a recover that has got hand grenades on it. But I think I need to keep that at the moment. What's this guy got here? Six, so he'll be eight. And we're firing for five. No, I'm going to use the hand grenades. So he's firing for seven. Okie dokie. Let's see if we can knock this bloke back. Oh, seven and five. Twelve. Okay. And he's there for six and two is eight. Um... And I think we're going to use Concealment. So he's there for 8 and the attack is now only at 10 and 6 and he's safe. Okay, so we need to try a move. Um, so I am going to move as our second order and I'm going to move this guy and I'm going to pop smoke first and I'm going to pop it into here and I'm going to try and get from here into here at least let's see if it works we have four okay well that's better than nothing so we move up into here so that's one and a half these guys can fire. They're the only ones that can. Um, so they're going to have to fire. And they're going to use crossfire to add two to it. So it's at a range of one, two, three, four. So we have seven, eight, nine. And two is 11. Minus four is seven. Plus 12. Dun, dun, dun. 19. But that takes us to sudden death. Ooh. Righto. So we have to do the uh, American deck. And we remove the smoke. That's not going to affect anything for this go at least. Righto, so we shuffle up the American de deck and we do sudden death. Now, the Americans know that this could go either bloody way. So they're not sure if they want it to end or not. And neither are the Germans. So we need a seven or more for the game to go on. So we'll cut the deck. And we get a six and the game is over. Right, let's get rid of this shit. Holy crap, my apologies. Look at that. See, it was the end of the world. The earth did move for you. Okay. So, we have six American VPs. The first secret objective for the Germans is N. Number four is worth four VPs. So, the Americans lose four VPs, and that's it. They're down to two. And the second secret objective is... <laughs> objective L, number four, is worth three VPs, giving the Germans one victory point, and they win. My God, all because this little fella got up here. If he hadn't have got up there, then... Uh, the Americans still would have won because that would have been six more VPs they had. They would have won by five. So it's this little fella that gave him the bloody win. Well done, that man. Well, there you go. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Um, I knew it could go either way at the end, but uh, 
That is so damned close. Well done, Germans. Well done. From the American point of view, these guys did a fantastic job of uh, chewing them up, holding them back, uh, but they just couldn't stop this one little guy getting over there. Um, these ones over here didn't do a great deal, but they chewed this up and they've held up uh, Leutnant Schrader the whole time as well because he just would have gotten blown away um, with that 50 cal. And the only time it got... Uh, this guy got uh, suppressed, they recovered him straight away. So these guys couldn't diddly-bop up through here and try and uh, get out at all either. So, uh, wow. Okay, so that is the end of 25A. Uh, 25B, Fields of Blood, will be the next one. And basically it's the same setup, exactly. Um, except that the time now goes from 4 to 13 and so forth. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit different. A little bit different. And the Allies get the first go. The Allies are still recon. The Germans are still attack. But the Germans get a whole swag of um, reinforcements as well at eight. Uh, so do 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 Yeah, so we'd need to go through and uh, sort that out. And the German reinforcements will come up in the five space. So you know they're not going to be all that far behind at all. Seeing as we're starting on um, the three space. So, yeah. Um, and it's going to be a bit of a poo, that's for sure. So the Americans will only hold these two next time, and that's it. Um, so, yeah, they're really getting pushed back with a lot of extra Germans coming forward. So, okay, I will leave it there. Um, I think I'll just uh, tack this on to the, uh, the back of the other one. There's not much sense in uh, making this a, another new video. So, again, thanks for coming along for the journey. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope I haven't frustrated you with too many mistakes, <laughs> more than usual. And I will catch you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.